I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Good morning, all you fellow shenaniganders out there. It is early o'clock because I am heading off to the Provincials today, which is happening in Keswick, Ontario at Adam Becker's house. The top 24 players in Ontario will compete today to um, for a chance to go to the Nationals, which will be held at District 82 in Wisconsin this year. So this is happening um, North America wide. All participating states and provinces will be competing today. And all the individual winners will duke it out in District 82 for the title of champion what is it called the um, state championships provincial championships but there's a name for the winner of the whole shebang I forget what it is exactly anyway um, Adam Becker is actually not competing this year and I think ever since this has been going on I think he's won every year so that opens up the door to other possible shenaniganders so we shall see what happens I am going to meet Shawnee boy who has also qualified. We're gonna to drive together, and then halfway there, we're gonna pick up Nip, Nick Greenan, who um, has a buy actually, so uh, he doesn't even have to play the first round. And uh, yeah, then, you know, it's about a two and a half hour drive, so as you can see, potentially, it's a little bit snowy and crappy out and early, and the most important thing, I brought my pillow because I could probably use another hour or three of sleep. But yeah, that's what's going on today. So the Provincials is happening. And uh, if for some crazy reason, one of the top eight players doesn't make it for weather or whatever, you know, maybe it got ill or who knows. I am the Bi Bubble Boy. I am currently seated ninth. So... If someone doesn't show up for some reason, then I would get a buy and a little bit more cash. So that would be kind of cool, but it would also be cool to uh, just compete and win. That'd be kind of more fun, really. Um, I'm playing against Les Cowell from Toronto, as it stands right now. If anybody um, falls off for whatever reason that's below seed nine, then that will change. Um, because it is pretty crappy weather-wise, but I'm on my way, so we'll see what happens when we get there. And as tired as I am, I am definitely excited about this, so we'll see you at Becker's. Okay, your boy is ready for action. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're going to be there a little bit early, so maybe we can go for a nap first because I'm tired. But all right, let's uh, pull up our socks today, boys. Green and you got to buy, so you get to chill and maybe practice while yeah, Sean and I are trying to advance round one. Uh, who are you playing against, Sean? Miles. Miles. Green and you're playing, playing the winner of Walt and Laura. Yeah. And I got to play less as it stands right now, so wish us luck. TCPL represent. Let's go! Oh, yeah. The bracket has changed. This is my new opponent. What's your strategy against me? Win? No effing clue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, to I'm the happy you made it in, buddy. All right. We'll see you in there. All right. It's the NACS. That's what it's called. North American Championship Series. We've made it to Adam Becker's Press Start Arcade. And practice is about to start shortly. But in the interim, let's go for a little tour of the collection. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, I think it was maybe a year ago for the last Provincials. And the lineup looks like it's been shuffled around a little bit. I don't know what is new, but I don't think Jive Time is actually in uh, for today. But we got some notes, player play one and three only on big game. Looks like that's going to be the case for... Uh, a lot of the solid states so we got basically all the top 
players in Ontario here. Mr. Moxley studying his strategy, picking his games. Cool thing about this format is you gotta pick one old, one mid, and one new. And practice is officially allowed to commence. I think TX Sector is gonna be one of my picks. Looks like got a Walking Dead over there, a Genesis, uh, Whitewater still in the queue for restoration. What's that? Jumping Jack over there. And that game there, what is that? Firepower? No. Oh, Robo War. All right, let's tour around here. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, Cue Ball Wizards over here now. It's my first game I ever owned. Batman 66 Magic. I have one. Probably should have practiced it. But don't tell my opponent that. Whoever that is going to be. Currently, it is Sandy, the Mandy. Green and practicing up some Robocop. How's it playing? Yeah, looks pitched up pretty steep, but I played that at Indisc, so it should be uh, comparable in terms of difficulty setup. And then uh, some modern action over here. Lord of the Rings, that's gonna be one of my picks. Stargazer probably as well. So yeah, this is the tour of the Press Start Arcade. Uh, here's the the friggin' Elwyn bank right here. I wonder if uh, Jaws is gonna join this lineup. Quicksilver, that's not a bad pick as well. All right, I think uh, it's time to get practicing. All right, practice is over. It's time to get real. Okay, uh, congratulations to everyone for making the Apparel Princess Championship. So give everyone a round, round of applause. Uh, so this is format going to be a little bit different for everyone. Uh, the only people that I've ever played before are Jeff, Jeff Not yours, myself, Steve. So, um, yes. I'm going to go yes. with everyone uh, to make sure there's no mistakes done on the first round. And, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, the way it's going to work is you're going to have a, um, there are two players, your high seed and your low seed. Your low seed is going to pick uh, their old mid or new, then the high seed will pick their old mid or new, and you're going to pick both of those machines and going back and forth. Mm. If you get to six games, so you, you won your three and they won their three, or whatever happens, you get to three and three. There's a final seventh game, which is a sudden death game, and the high seed will be able to pick any game that they want that wasn't of the six that were already chosen. Uh, and then the lower seed will then get to choose order, okay? Uh, when you're picking on your own games, uh, the other person gets to choose order. I'm not playing, so at any time you need anything for any reason, just come get me. Even if I'm playing a game, I'm not playing an actual game, so I'm just hosting and running this thing, so you don't have to worry about bothering me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if there's anything that you don't like about a game, you know, flippers aren't correct, tight tilt's too tight, uh, anything that you want, you think might need adjustment, just let me know. If you play player two by four by accident. Uh, if you play player two or four by accident, then hooray, you've got some practice. Any other questions? Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Denise, for all Yeah. 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 Yep, so I'll turn the power back on and I'll start calling you up and then we'll go through the whole process just to make sure there's no mistakes on the first and round. And also we're going to do a quick group photo oh, yeah. right now. Everybody right around here, join in for a photo. we got to document the action. How are you going to get in the picture? I'm not. Maybe Denise? Or Adam? Sure. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. It's on video right now. We can video a little bit and then you can turn it to photo. All right, a little update on the IFPA Ontario Provincial Pinball Championships. This is what we're uh, playing for today. I just finished my round against Sandy, and 
I got the win, four to one. Sean won his battle, four to nothing. Laura won her battle, four to nothing as well. Um, but I'm down three zero right now. Oh so. shit, Sean is friggin' seven and zero oh right now then. But, but it's okay because I'm going to see like the Queen concert tonight. Oh, are you? At Cineplex, so oh, hey. I have tickets, so that's all right. Me getting there on time. And possibly the women's tomorrow too. Or are you doing that? No. no. Yeah, especially after a concert. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to miss that though. Okay, so Shawnee Boy's doing good, I guess. Yeah. Who's playing on Stargazer? Is this a live game? No, that is not a live game. Jay is waiting for his opponent. We're just waiting for Twilight Zone. Steve Machado and myself. That is who is next for me. Oh, you know what I really should be doing? Is practicing. We've got our games selected. I picked the exact same games as last round, which was Twilight Zone, Stargazer, and Lord of the Rings. John. And Steve picked, uh, his daughter picked Robocop. Mars Trek. Mars Trek. And Avengers. Avengers, okay. She that's... thought they would be fun. All right, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how fun they are. Hopefully they're fun for both of us. Okay, I'm gonna sneak through here quick because that's a live match too. I've owned Avengers, so, you know, that's helpful. Uh, Mars Trek. This is my plan. Shots from left to right and fire up the advanced bonus lane and try and land in the saucer. Rinse and repeat, nothing more, that is it. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to practice on games that are in our picks right now. Shiny boy, do it up, man. All right, that's your update. All right, one more update. I'm not gonna yell too loud because I'm right behind Savage who is blowing up Jurassic Park right now. But I am officially out. Your uh, daughter picked well. I know. <laughs> Love you, Tara. Good job, sweetie. <laughs> Good luck in the next round, Thank man. You, hopefully, uh, hopefully you take it down. Good competition. Man. Thanks. Sorry about Okay, so then um, now that I'm out, I'm going to play in the Constellation Tournament for position. Uh, I think that is going to be, what, 9 through 16? So there's points still involved in the equation. And fun, you know? So uh, This place isn't exactly around the corner, so when you're here, you might as well maximize your enjoyment and experience out of the deal. So. It's a little bit early for beer o'clock, but you never know. I did bring some just in case. It's only about, I think, three or something right now. So, I'll show you the, uh, the standings here and what's going on. I'll give you an update with that. Can you see that? Let's see. So, Steve Machado, Nick Greenan, Tio Ellis and Jack Tadman, these fine fellows right here, are advancing to the quarters. So since we came with Greenan and we're done and he's not, he's volunteered to walk home so he can leave. You would be home by like tomorrow at noon if you walk, start walking now. Yeah, get started. Or if he wins a boatload of cash, he can uh, hire an Uber. But no, we'll cheerlead on Nick. Hopefully he takes it down. Uh, it'll be nice to see uh, someone other than Becker win it, because Becker's won it every year that he's ever been in this, so. Not this year. One of us who's taking it Yeah, one of you guys is taking it down. What's happening here? Are you playing Embryon? Yeah, I think it's been scoring 5,000 by accident. Uh, okay. He hasn't plunged the, uh, the displays and didn't uh, stop flashing. Ah, uh, so yeah. Just yeah, yeah, cool. All right, I'm gonna continue on with the, the update here. We got the, the food. 
all kinds of goodies here, so this will keep me occupied while I wait. What's in this? Ooh, pulled pork, yummy. I've been a pretty good boy, I've been eating mostly fruit. But anyway, we're here for pinball, not fruit and pulled pork. All right, what's happening over here? Oh, Shane and Chris Moxley duking it out. Game seven. And did you officially make your decision? Okay, the, they're playing Jurassic Park. Winner moves on. And Shawnee put up a good battle against Teolis. But uh, we'll duke it out against each other in the Constellation Tournament for fun. All right, so I'll report back maybe once more, once uh, we know who's in the finals, or who wins, or something. All right, so I played in the Constellation match, and I was uh, paired up with John Clinton, and uh, played big game. That was pretty crappy for both of us, really. <laughs> Didn't get to play much on it. And then we played uh, Lord of the Rings. He destroyed the ring. Pick some serious lord of the ass <laughs> and then uh, went to Star Trek I was like nine seconds away from lighting Kobayashi Maru died got about 70 million and then John had an epic comeback on ball three and beat me three nothing so I am out oh so you know what that means yeah it's beer o'clock Down to the semifinals. Steve Machado and Greenan are up. Teolis and Tadman. I don't know if they have started yet or not. But down to the final four. Place is cleared out. Sean and Jay McKay are playing for the consolation tournament still. Greenan's meditating. And, oh, there they are. Teolis and Tadman are uh, doing their picks over in the uh, principal's office over here. All right, Sean and I are officially out, but we found out that we're tied for 11th, 12th. So we are gonna battle it out for position best of seven, starting on TX. Round one goes to Shawnee Boy. He accidentally played player two and drained in a hurry. I like that ball better. He's actually player three, because you play only players one and three. Anyway, I'm out of your, getting out of your way. These guys are duking it out for uh, seven and eight as well, I believe. Game two, Rick and Morty. With the giant pickle Rick right beside the machine. And the topper going crazy. All right, I forgot to do an update. Game three, he was on Monaco. Pretty cool EM from Segasa. And then this is me, and this was Sean. Two, one, me, and now we are playing some Harlem Globetrotters. Did the game magically reset? Oh, shit. Oh, I got the victory, woo! Game number five, Cue Ball Wizard. The first game I ever owned. Jamie bought it for me and uh, I completely forgot the rules because I haven't owned this game for ages but Sean's got talent and I hit the ramp ten times in a row but it didn't give me anything because I don't know what I'm doing anymore okay Nick and Steve game seven here this is do or die and Nick Friggin' picks Iron Man, the most difficult game in the friggin' lineup. Sucker for punishment here. It's this game for all the marbles to move on to the finals. I don't know what's going on with Teolis and Tadman right now, but it uh, looks like they're playing some Walking Dead, possibly. But in other news, Cue Ball Wizard is happening. I think I've got 35 million, it looks like. Maybe it's an eight. Maybe it's 135. We don't know.
All right, turns out it was 35, so one more ball to see what happens here. Okay, so we just played, and uh, all our games are over. It's technically four to one, but we said, fuck it. We're gonna play Granny and the Gators, yeah. For position of 11 or 12th, screw pinball. We gotta mess with Granny. <laughs> You're running into the bank, man. Oh, he's gotta go at that hole on the right. Becker gave us like a 30 second tutorial. Oh my God, we're playing pinball. I didn't even think we'd make it to pinball on this. It's for all the mar marbles, boys and girls. Oh, this play field looks like uh, the Pac-Man one. Baby Pac-Man. It might be the same play field. But Granny and the Gators, boys and girls, for all the marbles. Okay, still on ball one. Lost the ball, but I guess that means you go back into the arcade. Oh, watch out for that gator! Ooh, almost got you. It's still tracking you down. Collect gold for bonus and passage by Rapids. Oh, you're getting so screwed there. How did you survive that? What is that, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what, there's aliens shoot. Oh, natives are shooting arrows at you, dude. That is friggin' deadly. Watch out for the native. Oh! There's some money, get it. Oh, now you're picking up the pace. Oh, shit. Okay, my first ball on Granny and the Gators. I better get playing, it's already started. I've got 150 points, here. I played this once in my life at... Uh... Whoa, wait, oh, ow. Oh, wow, you whacked him. Oh my God, how did I survive that? Whoa, so left goes right and right goes left? That's some bullshit. Oh my god, I stuck it. Oh, I missed my exit. No, no, no. Oh my god, how am I still alive? I can't figure this out. I'm gonna have to go around this fucker. What is it? Stab him. How am I alive? What is this? I can fight her? Did you know you can fight? Where? What? I can stab him with my canoe, but I can't shoot guns at him? That's some bullshit. Okay, let's see. What is Sean doing that I'm not? He's got a nice pace to him. Let's see. It's getting a little tighter. Oh, it's got through the gate. Let's see, so... Uh-oh, yeah, that's trouble. Oh! Oh. Granny's pretty good. Check her out. She don't mess around. This is... I didn't realize... What, is it me? Oh, okay. Here. Whoa! Here. You got no ammo. Oh, you you used up all your ammo. Trade gold. How do I get over there? No! I can't turn around. How are you not dead yet? I already killed you. <laughs> Fuck you, Granny. Well, actually, Granny's. Granny's okay. It's the damn gators. There she is. Okay. Remember I said we may not get to play pinball? That is true so far for five out of six balls. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, fire. And then there's power, but it was never flashing. Oh, I'm up. Okay, here, take over. I'm trying to get the the marbles. Okay, I need. Yes, give me that. 50 points, that's it? I need to exit, damn it. <laughs> okay. Where's an exit, please? I want to play pinball. Whoa! They're getting faster. Oh, I'm getting close! Yes, pow! Uh oh, going the wrong way. I killed you! Ah! Bonus! 
No bonus. Ah, uh, Sean takes it down. Wait. You just restarted the game. I started. The Oops. All right. Mulligan. We have to start all over again. Okay, this may be your final update because we're leaving soon. So the finals are taking place right now between Steve Machado and Jack Tadman to determine who gets the trophy. Ah, we already looked at that. And Greenan and Teolis are playing consolation round to determine who is third and fourth. And they're both gonna get a decent payday around two, three hundred bucks. I think the winner gets somewhere around thousand dollars. But more importantly, the title of provincial champion. So there it is. And then um, I think Teolis, Green, and Sean and I are gonna go drink our sorrows away and hit up this wing place apparently that's not too far away and um, drink some beer and eat some wings. Oh yeah. All right, check this out. Jay McKay, custom apron cards. There is a new kid in town when it comes to custom apron cards. Check this out. Oh, that might be worse with the flash on. Look at this. So this is um, Godzilla. It's super informative, double-sided, and he's doing a bunch of games. We got Avengers. Oh, man, that would be so helpful. Okay, so if people want to find more about these cards, which are friggin' awesome, what's the website called? Cool. Systemj.ca. Systemj.ca. I love it. Systemjpinball. Systemjpinball.ca. What do you got? Got them. Got them. Want them? Want them? Yeah. 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 What you got? All right. I think uh, wings and beer are in our very near future. But yeah. Systemjpinball.ca, not just cosmetic, but super informative. I like this. Oh, that's a yeah. Size. yeah. It's, Cholis that's is like, I like this one. Hint, hint. I like this one. I could. Okay, it is Sunday. Provincials were yesterday. I'm on my way to Kevin's and figured this is a good time to do just a quick little update on what happened yesterday. The winner of the Ontario Provincials is the one and only, whoa, try that again. So, so the winner of the Ontario Provincial Championships is the one and only Jack Tadman. And runner up was Steve Machado. Congrats to all. Machado is who took me down, so uh, good to see that he made it all the way to the end. And then um, it was Nick Greenan and Jeff Teolis in uh, third and fourth. I mean, fourth and third, respectively. So that is basically the final update of that action. Sean took me down on Granny and the Gators to secure 11th. Good job, Shawnee. Would've been nice to actually kill a Gator and get out the escape route so I could have played the pinball, but Oh well, that was an awesome way to end the tournament for us. So that's your update on the Provincials. And, uh, you know, we'll fight again for the year and try and make it back there for next year, which will be at Maple Pinball, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I just made that up. Um, but it was actually supposed to be at Maple this year, but it got changed to Becker's. So great experience, though. Thanks to Becker for hosting. It was an awesome time. So we'll see you next year.